Just a feather bowl away from downtown Minneapolis, across the mighty Mississippi from the old Grain Bell Brewing Facility is Prize Brewing Company. We talked to their founder, Jeremy, about Miraculum, the beer that built their brand. In Dabbler in a Box Season 3, you'll find a version with a little citrus twist. Music isn't a commodity. It's a craft. That's why we go to work every day, pounding the sidewalks and venue floors of communities big and small to discover, empower, and celebrate new and important voices shaping the future of music's history. I started brewing at Lucid, and I had one product to come out, and that was Miraculum. The biggest beers that people are coming out with is just how bitter could you make it? How could you make this so bitter that it was just so harsh on your palate? And I just kind of got burnt out of bitterness. What I wanted to do is build a beer that was a West Coast beer that had more malt character, and so then came Miraculum. We did what's called a dual prop, which means we brewed our beer, cellared the beer, and packaged the beer in a different location, and then got that out to clients. From that, we started getting a really nice, unique underground following. Even all the cooks were like, we'd like to make food with this. When I used to go to the beer dabblers, as a person trying to get his brewery open and get all the consumer base to really just try it and experience Miraculum, um, I had to create three beers. In order to create those three beers, from a person that only had one beer to bring, I started really creating these innovative infusions. And so I took Miraculum, and one was grapefruit. Grapefruit was, it was fantastic. It tasted really well. The bitterness on that one really held with a, the grapefruit really shined through a little bit too much. So I, so I wanted to do, try something else. And so my third one was trying Blood Orange Miraculum. So the cool thing about Blood Oranges is they just have this unique bitterness that really carries through, that really complements the bitterness that's in Miraculum. Because remember, it's still a West Coast IPA with a Midwest twist. And now in Dabbler in a Box season three, we have Blood Orange Miraculum. If you look at it, we have this really nice, kind of like red amber tint, almost like a fire red uh, color to it, which is really nice. It's like walking through an orange patch. I just smell the oranges. It just reminds me back when I would go to like Florida or somewhere that has oranges. <laughs> so. Oh man. You get this tangerine kind of strawberry taste to it. And then after that, you get the dryness, you get the grain, you get the malt finish, and it just ends the experience. It really makes you want to keep drinking it. Something you may not know about Prize Brewing's tap room is we have something called Feather Bowling. Feather Bowling is an old Belgian beer cheese wheel game. What you do is you take the cheese wheels and you roll them down the lane and try to get closest to the feather. Another thing that we have here at Prize Brewing is we have our own kitchen. It's called Cassan's Italian Eatery. Mike Cassan and his family has been in the industry for many, many years. And so when we approached Mike to have him really showcase a lot of his flavors, he was definitely on board. Pizza and beer, I mean, they're perfect. The next program that we're doing is taking sours to the next level. We're doing a wild sour program. So stay tuned for what's gonna happen, but fooders are on their way. So we're really excited about our cartographer series. This continually challenges me to innovate and really create a tasting experience in your can that you can get at liquor stores and take home. We do everything from pastry stouts to smoothie sours to smoothie IPAs, just kind of these huge, bold flavors. It really allows me to really challenge myself to see what kind of experience I can give you. Enjoy your Blood Orange Miraculum in Dabbler in a Box, season three. Cheers, everybody.